Hey guys, Nate here from Sound Pros Iowa, and I just wanted to uh, kind of show you a few new things that we've got going on here. Uh, specifically for this video, I want to focus on the Chauvet Color Strip Mini. Here it is, right here, in all of its glory. Yeah. Just got this in the other day. Actually, uh, got three of them from uh, idjnow.com, and I got a fantastic deal. And I just wanted to kind of go over some of the features of the Chauvet Color Strip Mini. It is a four channel DMX uh, color wash, RGB, and uh, it is very, very, very bright. Uh, it can do RGB color mixing on its own, or uh, with the DMX controller, you really have <laughs> unlimited possibilities with this light. Uh, let's take a look quick here at the back panel. And as you see, we'll start here. We have the DMX in and out. We have our fantastic uh, eye hook for our safety chain. That's very, very important. And we have our master slave link output. A couple of connections here for remote uh, control, foot controller. Uh, here's our sensitivity knob for sound, our microphone, and then of course our digital control panel. Uh, this allows us to set DMX mode or select from uh, 23 different programmed settings, pre-programmed settings in this light already. And then of course, the fantastic thing with this is that we have power in and linkable power of up to 20 units. Uh, so that's really awesome, saves you a lot of time, lots of uh, extra cables that you don't have to run. And uh, as I mentioned, this can run in standalone mode, master slave mode, or DMX. And on the next video, um, I'm going to set this guy up, turn it on. And on the next video, I'll show you some of the features uh, of the standalone modes that are pre-programmed into the Chauvet Color Strip. Okay, Mini. guys, here we are. Uh, we've got our light plugged in, and uh, I've just got it plugged into my uh, power distribution right now. Um, but, you know, eventually this will be used in an uplighting scenario, and there will be a lot more lights hooked up and uh, I'll be using the My DMX from American DJ uh, to control these lights. Uh, there will be some instances where I use my Chauvet Obey 70, and, and that works fantastic. But just wanted to show you here the last mode that I had this light in, because um, I've played with it since I've had it out of the box a few days ago, was A0000, which is the blackout mode, um, and it's a pre-programmed mode. And really simple to step through these, you just... Uh, basically hit this up or down button and of course one is red, two is green, three blue, four is yellow, five is purple, yeah, and six is cyan, and seven is white. Okay, and then once we get through the static colors we get into some different color changing modes all the way up to uh, 22 there's uh, a whole host of different color change sequences that are built into this light, which makes it very, very, very versatile. And uh, we'll go up here to 22, which is my favorite, is actually the slow color fade. And it'll fade for, through all of the colors, all of the static colors that are on uh, 1 through 7 on the Color Strip Mini. 23 is sound active mode, as you can see here. As I tap the light, we have lights changing. And I don't have the sensitivity set too high, so it takes a little bit more to get the lights to go. But there you go. Now, real simple here, to change this from uh, basically the standalone mode uh, programs that are built into this guy to DMX, all you do is hit this mode button and hit the up or down button until you see SYS. Once you select enter, SDAD, it stands for DMX address. And to do this, real simple, um, once you hit enter to select that, you see that this light is set to address 5. That's because I have a set of Color Splash Juniors that are 4 channel that run on channel 1 through 4 on DMX on my uh, American DJ, my DMX software. Now, for the Chauvet Obey 70, it's important to note that um, you can only have 12 fixtures and there's 32 addresses, basically 1 through 32 are for fixture 1, 33 through uh, whatever that would be, uh, the next 32 would be 65, that would be for fixture number 2. So if we were running this on the Obey 70 and it was the second fixture in the mix, we would have to, of course, set this number to 32. Or 33, my, my 33. 
and if you have multiple color strip minis like I do, um, and you want them all to be the same color on the same page, so to speak, you would set them all to the same address, and it works fantastic. But for now, and for the immediate future, um, immediate future being the next week until I take these to a wedding and use them for uplighting, I'm going to switch back to the um, mode that allows me to basically run the onboard programs. And I'm going to put it back on my favorite one, which is the color fade. These lights are extremely bright. Don't look directly into them, as you can see there. Very bright, long lasting, and it's just a fantastic, um, fantastic light from Chauvet. One thing that I've neglected to mention in the previous clip is that with this, you get a couple of cool Chauvet stickers. You also get a jumper for this side of the power right here. You get a safety chain for the eye hook, and you also get a couple of different size brackets. Right now I have the small bracket on here. Uh, likely this will be put on a truss, a light truss at some time or another, but there is a larger bracket that is about an extra inch, inch and a half larger than this, which is the bracket that you would want if you're doing up lighting so that you can get the light straight up and have enough clearance for the cables. Um, if you have any questions, hey, let me know. I'll do my best to answer them for you. And um, until next time, as Brian S. Red says so many times, practice and enjoy.